most people, when they just close their eyes, not paying attention to anything else, just have lots and lots of thoughts coming up in the mind. So it's normal that that's what happens when you start to meditate. But what you've got to do is say you're not going to pay attention to them, you're going to pay attention to the breath. Now, thoughts have their hooks. They have all kinds of ways of letting you think that you really have to think them right now. Either they're a clever idea you don't want to forget, or some important issue you've got to plan for, or who knows what the hook is. Sometimes it's pleasure, sometimes it's anger. But you've got to turn your mind to a mind that's not hooked by anything. So whatever comes up, you can tell yourself, not now, not now. No matter how wonderful or important the thought may be, you've got to give the mind its space where it can gather its strength. There's a sense of having an inner strength. A sense of peace inside is really important. It's something you've got to learn to develop so you have it to hold on to when the torrent of thoughts gets really strong, when things outside get really bad, when you're tempted to go against your virtue. You need something strong to hold on to. And this is the beginning right here, getting the mind to settle down and have a sense that it can be at home with the breath and step out of its thoughts. And that way you can get your bearings. And when you do have to act, okay, you're coming from a position of strength. You're not worn out by all the struggles going on in the mind and things, among things outside. You've got a place of peace inside where the struggles can be at least put aside for the time being. So it's very important that you try to develop this sense of inner center, because all your other goodness depends on it. Virtue depends on it. Generosity depends on it. Some people say you first have to be generous, and then when you're generous enough, then you practice virtue, and then when you're virtuous enough, you do the meditation. But that's not how it works. Generosity requires this, the strength that comes from a mind that has a sense of well-being, a sense of enough, a sense of inner wealth. Virtue comes from having a sense of inner nourishment, that you don't need to feed off activities that would cause anybody any harm. All this requires the meditation. So the virtue and the generosity help your meditation, and the meditation helps your generosity and your virtue. They support one another like this. So try to make sure that your practice is, includes all three aspects. It's like a table or a stool that needs at least three legs in order to be really solid. If it's just one leg, it can tip over easily. Even two legs can tip over easily. If you've got all three legs, then it's really solid and secure.